Hey y'all, Mo here, and today I am really excited because we are taking a look at the Kubuntu Focus M2. And this is an awesome purpose-built Linux laptop that ships ready to use out of the box, and it comes with Kubuntu pre-installed. Taking a look at the front of the unit, you are going to find a few different indicator lights. Around here on the right side of the unit, you're going to find a pair of USB ports, along with a gigabit ethernet jack. Okay, and around back, you're going to find a mini display port, a full-size HDMI, a barrel jack power connector, and finally, a USB Type-C port. And then moving around to the left side, you're going to find a 3.5 millimeter mic input, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a USB port, and a Kensington lock. The lid is emblazoned with the Kubuntu logo. Then underneath, you will find a removable panel that provides access to components like RAM and hard drives, as well as rubberized feet, and plenty of ventilation to keep this thing cool under load. The entire laptop features a sturdy aluminum chassis, and there's a gorgeous keyboard with great key travel and RGB LED backlighting. And the Kubuntu Focus M2 features some really impressive specs. You've got an Intel Core i7-11800H CPU. You've got a choice of three different NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series GPUs, including the RTX 3080, RTX 3070, and RTX 3060. You can outfit this laptop with up to 64 gigs of 3200 MHz dual channel RAM. There's a 15.6 inch 1080p IPS 1440Hz display, an aluminum chassis, an RGB backlit keyboard, great I.O. And you've also got Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, and a gigabit Ethernet jack. And gaming performance is really impressive. I was able to play a lot of AAA titles like Rise of the Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Alien Isolation at high and ultra 1080p with some pretty high refresh rates and buttery smooth graphics. And here we are in Tomb Raider 2016 and I'm getting an average of almost 300 frames per second at 1080p high 144 hertz which is really solid and granted this is a bit of an older game but it still when it came out was pretty demanding. So, this laptop is definitely no slouch. Here's Rise of the Tomb Raider, 1080p, high 144 hertz, and I am getting an average of around 150 to 160 frames per second. And the visuals here look really gorgeous. Stepping up to Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I am running this at 1080p, 144 hertz, and I'm getting anywhere from around 150 to just under 120 frames per second. It's probably an average of about 130 frames per second, and that is certainly not bad. This game is more than playable. And here is Alien Isolation. I am playing this at high 1080p, and I am getting a pretty constant 60 frames per second. And this game looks absolutely stunning. And the software experience is really nice. Kubuntu is an Ubuntu-based Linux distribution, and it's super user-friendly. This is the kind of machine that comes ready to use out of the box. And even though I am a seasoned Linux user, I could see this being a great operating system for anyone who is switching from Windows or Mac OS. It's a great desktop environment and the layout looks pretty similar actually to Windows with your application menu. It's got a bunch of apps pre-installed. And it's really easy to install whatever apps you want. 
there's even a curated apps menu here and you open it up and it gives you access to a bunch of different programs you can download like Blender, Firefox, Chrome, Dropbox, Visual Studio Code, JetBrains Toolbox, Kubernetes, FileZilla, Minecraft, Steam, Lutris, and a bunch of other programs. So whether you are a Linux power user or brand new to the Linux space, Kubuntu is a really solid choice. So overall, I am really happy with the Kubuntu Focus M2. I think this is a super cool laptop, and it's awesome to see a pre-built Linux laptop like this that is easy enough for someone like me who's a big Linux buff, but can also be used by folks who are switching from Windows or Mac OS. Now, it is worth noting that I thought the touchpad was a little stiff. And also, this is to be expected, but when you are gaming, the fans really do tend to kick in pretty hard. So there you go. This has been my review of the Kubuntu Focus M2. This is an impressive Linux laptop that I wouldn't hesitate to recommend to gamers, system administrators, developers, programmers, or just the average person who wants to switch from Mac OS or Windows to Linux. It's got great build quality, impressive specs under the hood, and can run whatever you throw at it, from AAA video game titles to Docker containers like a champ. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel for notifications when we post new videos. And head over to the comment section to let me know what you thought of the Kubuntu Focus, as well as what Linux operating systems you are using. If you want to read some of my editorial content, check out techuplife.com. And in the meantime, don't forget to give your life a tech up.